Reduce the time of your grocery shopping to do math with your children. This morning, Dad, Mathilda and Matthew go to the grocery store. Mathilda notices a banner hanging on a rack. Look, Dad! Mathilda, can you describe the banner? They are triangles. It's blue, red, yellow, then it starts again. If you had to continue it, what color of flag would you put on? Mathilda thinks. Blue, red, yellow. What comes after? Red. After blue, it's red. You're right. When we get home, we're going to do sequences. Sequences. Sequences can be made with real or drawn objects. It's a way to develop reasoning to make more abstract sequences in primary and high schools. Dad, Mathilda and Matthew continue their shopping. Inside, Matthew notices the bouquets of flowers. Are we buying flowers for Grandma? Let's choose a bouquet. Mathilda, how many flowers are there in this bouquet? Three flowers. Yes, Mathilda. You saw that quickly. Matthew points to a bouquet. This one also has three flowers. No, it's not three. There are five. Ah, a bouquet with five flowers. That is perfect for Grandma. Thank you, Matthew. You showed us a bouquet with five flowers. Let's play a game. We will try to find other items grouped in bundles. A pack of three juice boxes. A pack of four yogurts. A carton of six eggs. A pack of 12 rolls of toilet paper. Well done! Grouping. Spotting objects that come in regular bundles prepares children to see the importance of groupings. This will help them in the first cycle of elementary school when they work in terms of ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. Why don't we eat pasta tonight? We need three cans of tomatoes. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. Can you give them to me in order from the smallest to largest? Mathilda observes the cans. This one is the smallest. And next, this one. And this is the biggest. Ordering quantities. Mathilda compared the sizes of the cans, then ordered them. Ordering is a logical operation which is linked in this example to measuring. Well done! And now we need pasta. Do the two boxes look the same? No, the pasta box is made of cardboard. The can of tomatoes is round, the other is not. You are right, the base is round, it's a cylinder. And you are right too, the box of pasta is made of cardboard. Comparing solids. Matthew's answer that the box of pasta is made of cardboard can make us smile, but the question was open and allowed unexpected answers. In preschool, children will be encouraged to recognize and name solids such as cylinders, balls, cubes, and pyramids. The shopping is over. Let's go pay for our purchases. Mathilda notices that several people are already waiting in line. Mathilda, how many people are ahead of us in line? There are four people in front of us. Yes, so we are fifth in line. The first person in line finishes shopping and leaves. How many people are there in front of us now? Three. We are fourth. The ordinal aspect of numbers. Numbers can be used to express order or rank. 
Dad and the kids had a great time shopping. Their visit to the grocery store allowed them to explore several aspects of mathematics. Because after all, math is everywhere.